Good afternoon, Mike from Waterbarn Porsche. Uh, today we present the 997 Carrera 2 Tiptronic Coupe. One of the features that set aside aesthetically from the exterior, the 2 to the 2S, are the S generally comes with twin towel pipes, of which this non S actually has. Also, the S comes with 19 inch rims, which this non S has as well. And the final exterior feature sets aside an S from a non-S, a Xenon headlamps with wash, which this car has. So in all fairness, from an aesthetic exterior point of view, this car pretty much mirrors a C2S, although it is actually only a Carrera 2. We've just obviously walked around the exterior of the car and determined that there's an awful lot of features that this car has, uh, that the Carrera 2S has. From an interior point of view, what the S also has, which isn't standard on the Carrera 2, is your PASM, which is this button here. Now that is your Porsche Active Suspension Management and that allows you at the touch of a button to change the suspension from a softer mode into a much firmer mode. Now quite clearly this is a very very well appointed Carrera 2. The only way it differs really from an S is it's a 3.6 litre engine as opposed to a 3.8 litre engine thus delivering 325 brake horsepower. But what a fabulous We've example. been discussing the, the lovely feature this Carrera 2 has um, where it actually is very very similar to the, to the S model. Uh, over and above that some other the lovely touches it's got the Bose sound system cruise control which is a very rare option to find on Porsche full satellite navigation and somebody's also had the Nokia Bluetooth kit fitted so you've got full hands-free operation of your telephone set and in these days of lots and lots of blue lights very very useful I for one know the uh, the advantage of having been caught with my hand set in my hand on a number of occasions by our friends in blue. As we've mentioned on so many occasions when we've been doing these films for YouTube, uh, the, the Porsche is a lovely car to drive, it's very civilised, it's very very simple, there's nothing arduous about it at all, you can, you can be whatever you want to be in a Porsche, you can be a little pussycat or you can be an absolute roaring tiger. Uh, I'm just pulling onto the slip road now, which is going to take me onto the dual carriageway. Driving the Tiptronic car, so if I floor it, kicks back so I can gauge the lowest gear it can for the speed we're doing, and off it goes. Effortless power, absolutely stunning. Now, uh, quite clearly, if I want to drive the car in a manual mode but without the use of a clutch, I can just pop the shift stick over to M, and then by virtue of using the paddles here, I can select the gear that I want to drive in. One of the clever aspects about the car is if I try to select too high or too low a gear for the speed I'm actually travelling at, it will actually override it so you can never damage the car. So as well as being an absolute joy to drive, it's a clever bugger as well. We mentioned a little earlier that this particular car delivers 325 brake horsepower. What that actually means in layman's terms is it'll take you from 0 to 62 in 5.5 seconds and where the, uh, the, the law allows will take you up to a maximum speed of 174 miles an hour. So, you know, fits into that true sports car ethos that only Porsche have.